it's an inspiring place to me in more ways than you can imagine. It, my entire career is, is predicated on diversity and New York is the most diverse city that you'll ever encounter in, in our country. New York is the most creative city that, that, that you can live at and God knows that I've been in a creative industry my entire career. And, uh, I have a 20 plus year career in multicultural marketing communications specializing in connecting and growing business with the communities such as the Latinx community, the Black community, LGBTQIA, and many other diverse communities. The fall, the colors are unparalleled. And in New York City, you're gonna see the colors. Central Park, in the Heights, it's not even close. Tell me something I don't know. The best piece stuff can probably still be found in Little Italy in the Bronx on Arthur Avenue. The Promenade in Brooklyn. The Knicks. I'm a sucker for mediocrity and the underdog. The, the Bronx or Brooklyn. I think that they both have a lot of character. Van Cortland Park in, in the Bronx. El Museo del Barrio in Manhattan. It has some of the best Latin art you'll have in the world. The Flatiron Building is one of the most iconic buildings in New York. It looks exactly like an iron. Lin-Manuel Miranda, Café con Leche, as well as a Dominican Queso Frito. To, to not toast it is a sin. I lived in a city where every day you could walk into a Chinese fast food spot, have a black man come in and order tostones and have the Chinese people prepare it, prepare it right, and, and have it to be a commonplace experience, right? And I thought that was normal because that's just how we grew up. The city is a testament to what diversity actually looks like. I think the proximity of the city and the intersection creates a powerful connection that you get to see a prism of beautiful community being created that is just not possible in any other part of the country. And that creates richness beyond compare.